Now that we know how to restore a previous version, let's see how to share the app that we built with others. It's very important because I know we are going to build great apps and others will want to use it. So let's take a look. In the apps part, we can select the app and click on share here in the top. We can also do that from inside the app edits interface. Let's open the interface and see first from here. That's where we are going to be most of the time. Here in the App Studio, we have also the share button here on the top. If we click, it's going to open this pop-up where I can share with people. In the past, we would have the classic sharing interface. Let's try first use this one. So let's say I want to share with any user. I have a test user here on my tenants that's called Capybaro. That's the test user. I can write a message here if I want. It says that it will be sent in an email notification. And I can also select an image here, upload app image. Here under manage access, I can see who has access and the pending invites. Even though I didn't click on send, it's already here. Possibly because I'm configuring. If I remove it, let's see now in manage access, it's not here yet. Okay, so let's go and add him again, test user. And I'm just going to click on share. Before it shares, now it's sharing already, but if I go to Capybaro's account, under apps, shared with me, I don't see the app in here. Now I'm going to refresh and let's see if the app appears. Share with me, and now the app's in here, and this user can play the app. See, he cannot edit because he's not an owner, but he can play the app. And this is Capybaro playing the app. And he plays the app normally. Let's check the email. He didn't receive any notification. If I wanted to send a notification, then I would need to write something in that input. Let's try again. Let's click on share, manage access. Now let's remove Capybaro from the app. Here in this drop down, we can remove access and apply. Now the user is not here anymore. Now let's go back to the Power Apps interface from this account, Capybaros. And if you go to Apps, Share With Me, the apps is still here. It may take a while to reflect the changes. Let's see again in the Manage Access, we are not seeing him anymore. So it may take a couple of minutes. Maybe if I log out and log in again, it will be reflected already to speed the process. It must be some cookies here in the browser, but I'm sure it will remove the access. Let's try sharing using the other way. If we go to the Power Apps interface here and we can find the apps, we can find the exact app that we want. Click on this ellipsis and click on share, or we can share here from the top. So let's click here on share. Then we can see the same pop-up. If I play the app with my account, we also have the share here in the top. Here is more for copying the link and email, sending the link through email or adding to Teams. So let's go back here and click on share. And now let's add again Capybaro, test user, and send him a message. Hi, this is my nice app. Here in this ellipsis, I can upload an image also to go in the email. So let's select an image here. That's an image for the app that I just created. We are going to see soon. And then let's click on share. In this case, it's going to send an email. So now let's see Capybaro's email and see what we have in there. Here I'm on his email. And as we can see, there is an email here saying that Rudimar shared an app with you. Let's click here and then we can see. Let me just mark this as a trustable sender and never translate. It's asking to translate here, but I don't want. Okay, it's not disappearing, fine. And here's the email content. Rudimar has shared an app with you. Here's the image that I added. I can click on run the app or run in Microsoft Teams. Possibly when I click here, it will open my Teams and ask to add in there so I have a shortcut to access the same app. So if I click here and run the app, it's going to open the app in a new tab, and now I'm accessing the app. 
the difference now is that I received the email because I wrote the message, hey, this is my nice app, and I also added the picture. If we don't add a picture, it will also send the email, but without the picture. Going back to the app, if I click on share again, I can manage access and I see that Capybara is a user. I could also make him a co-owner. It means that when he's a co-owner, let's apply, applying access, please wait. If I go back to Capybara's Power Apps interface and refresh, I will see that now I can edit the app. So he's actually a co-owner and can help me build my app. Here we have shared with me, and now we can edit the app and also change some settings and also share with others. Going back here, I can make him user again or remove access. Here in this sharing pop-up, I can also copy the link so I can send the link directly to the people, copy the link and I can expand and copy the link to play the app or to edit the app. As we can see here, we can add the name, group or email. I can also share an app with a group of people. When we want to share an app with a group, we can search a group name. In this case, I'm going to search everyone. Let's say that's an app that everyone can use. So here is everyone in Rudimar Power Apps, that's the company. When I do that, everyone will be able to access the app. And you can also have smaller groups with several people inside it. Let's say we have 500 people to share the app, we can create an Azure Entra ID secure to group and automate who should be in there. This is a more advanced stuff. You can get help from your IT department to set up that. Right now, let's focus on sharing with people individually. We also have the option to use the classic sharing. This is what you're going to see in most videos about Power Apps that the interface is a little different. Here we can add people and we can check or uncheck if we are going to send email to the new users and we can set if the user is a co-owner or not here. Microsoft just added that pop-up directly inside the app. This one opens a new screen on a new page in the app details page. It's the same thing, but you may see different options depending on which video you're watching. Now that you already know the interface, how to save, publish, restore, and share an app, we are ready to get started building our own app. See you in the next lesson.